how to destroy the narcissist. It is actually very easy to destroy the narcissist. It is not difficult to hurt them because they are very weak and fragile. They have an inflated ego. But it's like a balloon. If you fill it with air, it's more likely to burst. They have an exaggerated estimate of their own value and importance. They have an inflated feeling of pride in their superiority to other people. Even though they have seen, accomplished and achieved little in life. Which makes them very vulnerable to criticism and rejection. It makes them very sensitive to other people's success because they think they are the best. So when they see someone who might be better in some way, it makes them feel inferior. Many people look at narcissists like they're monsters or demons. But they're really not that strong. They're actually some of the easiest people to hurt. It's very easy to bruise their egos. It's very easy to make them feel less valuable and important because they have fragile egos. They're very delicate and vulnerable. They're easily threatened and destroyed because they're very insecure. They feel like no matter what they do, no matter how much they succeed, no matter how good they look, it's never enough. So they're very anxious to challenge or avoid criticism. They always have something to prove because they feel like they're not enough. They try to conceal their weaknesses and insecurities. They pretend to be strong. And usually people fall for it. But the truth is that they're weak and fragile. They're easily hurt and offended. They're paranoid and hypervigilant. They're always scanning the environment for threats. And if it's not a compliment, they see it as an insult. So if you want to destroy the narcissist, just move on with your life. Show them that you don't need them by proving to yourself that you don't need them by developing your confidence and maturity. By loving yourself unconditionally. And when you move on and do better without them, it destroys them. Because they don't think you can do better. You have to prove to yourself that you don't need them by focusing on yourself and living well, by looking after your health, by finding pleasure in small moments, because that is the ultimate revenge against the narcissist. It destroys them.
but don't waste your time telling them about it. Don't try to hurt them. Just do you. Let go of your anger and resentment. Don't let it weigh you down. Don't let it hold you back from being your best self. You don't need to show them anything. You don't need to prove it. That's what narcissists do. They go on social media and they post pictures. You don't need to do that. You don't need to show them your moves. You just need to start doing the things that you used to do. The things that you used to enjoy. The things they said that you couldn't do. But don't do it to hurt them. Do it because you enjoy doing it. Because when you do that, they know they can't affect you. They know they've lost control of you. It destroys them. Because they know you don't care about them. They know you don't care about what they're doing. You're indifferent. You've lost all hope and expectation of things working out with them. Because you realized that everything you liked about them was just a reflection of yourself. They reflected it back to you. They mirrored you. They showed you things that you liked about yourself. Things that you were interested in. So they used your own qualities against you by reflecting them back to you. So this problem just comes down to you recognizing your own high moral standards. You have to recognize your own strengths. You have to realize how great of a person you are and what you have to offer. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonates with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor at the UK. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.